If someone were to ask you, what is this Islam all about? 30 seconds, that's all what you have. And by the way, the one who's asking you this is the president of the country and you're in front of him. He's not Muslim. All the media is around. All the Muslims are hearing what's going on. The enemies are also aware of what's going on. Everybody's around and you have 30 seconds to tell the president was, what is Islam all about. Think and think and think, what would you say? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Iqra' bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم The basic message Allah Azza wa Jal in these five verses emphasize the cornerstone of our religion and that is knowledge. Knowledge, ilm. The cornerstone of our religion, the foundational factor that makes us truly Muslim is to know who is Allah, who is the Prophet, what is our book, that is the religious knowledge and then also to master the secular knowledges. We have mastered secular knowledge, there's no question about that. How many amongst us here are engineers, doctors, lawyers, accountants? Yet the fact of the matter is, how much do we know of the first iqra? Iqra bismi rabbik. How much do we understand of the Quran? What do we know of our religion? How much have we studied the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam? When we have neglected that knowledge, of what use then becomes the other knowledge? You need to have the religiosity, you need to have the spirituality. Without it, that knowledge is not going to be of benefit. You need to have that ruhaniyyah, that iman in you. And so brothers and sisters, the primary purpose of this surah, of these five verses, is to emphasize one concept, the importance of knowledge. It was revealed to the Prophet ﷺ and it was chosen to be the first verse to be revealed to the Prophet ﷺ for a reason. And the reason is to tell us how important knowledge is in Islam and how important it is for every Muslim to seek knowledge. Islam does not just stop at praying, does not just stop at fasting, does not just stop at performing hajj and paying zakat, but you need to know more. So you could get closer to Allah Azza wa Jal more. You need to learn more, so you could understand more. You need to learn more, so you could be aware more. You need to learn more, so you could know how to preach. This is the duty of the Muslim. And this is what the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had established and planted in the hearts of the believers, in the hearts of the companions around him. Not only Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam commanded them and Alayhi Salatu Wasallam encouraged them to seek knowledge, but Alayhi Salatu Wasallam made them love the seeking of knowledge. The love to seek knowledge. He made them love seeking knowledge. That seeking knowledge was one of the most beautiful things in their lives. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says in many, many a hadith, the virtues of seeking knowledge and the status of those who have knowledge. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, May Allah bihi khayran yufaqihu fi deen. If Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wants good for someone, if Allah Azza wa Jal wants to grant this person something good, Allah Azza wa Jal will teach him the knowledge. Obviously to us something good means money. Something good means beauty. Something good means a nice house. Something good means a high status. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if Allah azza wa wants to give you something good, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you knowledge. Because knowledge to Allah azza wa jal is a lot better and greater than money, is a lot better and greater than any, everything in this dunya. Why is the command repeated? Iqra bismi rabbik, iqra wa rabbuk al-akram. Many wisdoms and benefits. Of the wisdoms and benefits, Ya Rasulallah, your role, your job, your mission 
is to recite and recite and to recite and recite and to recite and recite. That is all you need to do. You need to preach the message. So you shall recite the Quran once and you shall recite it again and you shall recite it once again and you shall continue to recite it. So by repeating Iqra, the emphasis is given. Ya Rasulullah, your role is to preach the message. Your role is to educate. That is what you need to do and not to judge. Allah is the one who will judge. Iqra, Iqra. The, the point here, you need to preach the Quran continuously. Another benefit that scholars derive, some scholars say that in this verse, Allah is saying, Iqra wa Rabbuk al Akram. Recite, and your Lord is the most generous. The one who taught by the pen, the one who taught man that which he does not know. Some scholars say that the reference to the second Iqra is to the knowledge of the pen. So it is as if the first Iqra is to recite the Quran from memory that is coming from Allah. And the second Iqra, Iqra wa Rabbuka al-Akram alladhi allama bil qalam, the second Iqra is for the Muslims to read what men have discovered and written. In other words, what we call in our language, secular knowledge. So the first Iqra is for religious knowledge, for the Quran, for the Wahi. Iqra directly from Allah. Iqra the knowledge of the Quran. And the second Iqra is to Iqra from the knowledge of men. Read what men have written. Read about chemistry and physics and mathematics and biology and history. Go and master all the sciences what men have written. But realize that what these men have written, it was Allah Azza wa Jal who taught them all of this. Knowledge does not give you some of it until you give it all of you. Remembering at the same time or reminding at the same, at the same time that the way, the steps that you take for seeking knowledge is in itself the steps that will be taking you to paradise as the Prophet said. Man salaka tariqan yaltamisu bihi ilman sahhal Allahu lahu bihi tariqan ilal jannah Whoever took a step or way seeking thereby knowledge, Allah will facilitate, will ease for them a way for Jannah. So the way to knowledge is the way to Jannah. It's up to you how much steps you can take.